When you're ready to start your first test, you need to have washed your hands thoroughly with soap and water and allow them to completely dry. When your hands are completely dry, take the first test device that you intend to use. There is a front and a back. The three ports on the rear align with three ports on the front of the meter. Insert the test strip into the device. The device meter will prepare and start asking for a sample. Now to use the test properly, it is critical that you get a good lanced sample. We're gonna show you how to use these safety lancets that are supplied with the test strips in packs of 10. And to transfer the blood, you use one of these little capillary tubes to take the sample and put it into the testing device. To do a lance, use the side of your finger, not the flat. Make sure your finger is warm and well perfused. Put the lancing safety device firmly against the side of the finger and push down firmly. The lance will automatically pierce the finger and a small droplet of blood will form. When that occurs, wipe the first droplet away and allow the second droplet to form naturally on the tip of the finger. Allow the droplet to form naturally. Try not to squeeze or massage the finger at all to form this natural droplet. And then take the pipette and apply it to the blood sample. The pipette will naturally fill with sample and it's important that you are patient and allow the pipette to adequately fill right the way to the black line. Keep feeding the blood into the little pipette until the sample reaches the back line just by applying and removing the pipette from the sample of blood as it forms on your finger. When you reach the black line on the pipette, no further blood will be taken up. So take the pipette and vertically feed the sample by squeezing the bulb into the sample well. The meter will now start to analyze the blood sample and this can take anything up to two minutes. So I'm going to stop the video and come back and show you the results when the meter has analyzed this blood sample. The key elements of what we have shown you there is to allow that sample for testing to form as naturally as possible without having any massage or squeezing of the fingertip. And this is where a good lance technique is absolutely critical to getting hospital grade results from your cholesterol meter. When the meter has analyzed the sample, it will display your five result readings on the LCD screen with the time and date of the test. Let's have a look what this result has demonstrated. My total cholesterol on this sample is 5.05 millimoles per liter, which I'm quite happy with. The HDL is 1.14, could be a little better. My triglycerides are 1.2, which is very good. You want those under 1.37 and my LDL cholesterol, which is the difference between the total and HDL is coming out at 3.36 millimoles, which isn't bad. So the total cholesterol to HDL ratio is 4.42, which is good. You want that to be under five for a low cardiac health risk score. There's lots more information in the frequently asked questions on our website in terms of how to analyze and what you should be aiming for and when and how often to use the total cholesterol and differential meter system we've demonstrated for you. The key element that we want to emphasize to everyone is the lancing technique and the collection of that sample. If you are getting poor sample quality, having to squeeze the finger to obtain sufficient blood, then you really need to look at your lancing technique and make sure that your fingers are really warm and well perfused before you undertake a further test. Thanks for watching. I hope this information has been useful and good luck with getting good results from your cholesterol meter system from us. Thanks for watching.